Okay, so I've made it to the UK. We are in Edinburgh right now. We're about to drive down to Kendall to go to the Kendall Mountain Film Fest. It's gonna be super fun. I'm very excited. I'll walk through what I'm doing when we get there. It's got three films premiering. It's gonna be a really good time, but let's hop in the car and make our way down there. Okay, after a night in Edinburgh, we drove down to Kendall and we have made it to the Kendall Mountain Festival. Very excited to be here. I've been looking forward to this festival for a long time. But before we begin the festivities, let me explain what we're doing here. My first film here is called The Summit Within. It is about a group of wounded, injured, and sick veterans who use nature as a form of recovery. I met up with them in Colorado, filmed it this summer, and it's premiering at this festival. I'm very excited. The second film is called Canopy Climbers. It's a film that you can see on my YouTube channel. It's out online, out on outside TV, but it's about a group of tree climbers in Costa Rica using nature and tree climbing as a way to teach other local kids about the forest. And my third film is called Unseen Peaks. It's a story about this woman named Addie, who after enduring discrimination and trauma because of her blindness, is finding ice climbing and rock climbing and skiing as a way to find freedom in the outdoors. I'm super excited for this weekend. I'll do my best to document my experience at the entire festival, but I'll also be sharing three reasons why I think film festivals are an important tool to become a better filmmaker and storyteller. So let's dive in. We all had our own goals to achieve. Everything's gonna change. I hope it's not the beginning of the end of it. Who knows? I'm sitting there like sobbing behind the camera. When I'm editing the film, like I'm getting really emotional because I like pick the emotional music, you know? And I'm like, just reflecting on this whole experience for myself too. And I think it's so interesting to see this being played on this big screen and seeing hopefully it resonating with some of you and reflecting on all, all of our experiences as well as even the impact hopefully we were providing for them. I think our goal too is like to create stories and share stories like this that hopefully it leaves an impact with us and we can then share that impact with all of you. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch it and asking thoughtful questions. We really appreciate it. And, and thank you guys for sharing that film with us and that kind of inspirational look at how the outdoors really can heal and help people and the community that you can create. And again, you've, you've beautifully rounded it up with the idea that they helped you grow and they gave you something and, and that's great to, to finish on. Um, thank you again guys, give a big nice applause for them. Okay, so I just finished presenting my first film, The Summit Within, and it was so much fun. I loved it. I always love going to see these films be presented in person because similar to a songwriter performing a song in concert, you get to see the audience's reactions. I make a lot of these decisions in the editing room and when I'm filming to try to communicate the story in an effective way and presenting in front of live audiences, and this is one of the reasons that I think it's important to attend film festivals, Premiering things in front of live audiences allows you to get feedback on your work. When you post it through the internet and you share it with family and friends, that's one great way to receive feedback and help become a better storyteller. But seeing the reactions and hear the questions of people in person that you don't know from these awesome strangers that are showing up to this film festival, you get to kind of hear the perspectives on how your story resonated with these audiences. So now that the first screening is over, I've taken some notes on what I've learned. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the night. There's fun live music and events happening all over Kendall that I'm going to go to, maybe document a little bit on my phone, but just try to enjoy meeting other filmmakers, getting to know some of the people that maybe watched my film, and just hang out. I think film festivals are a great way to see a new area, so let's do some exploring. <laughs> Okay, it is day two here of the Kendall Mountain Film Festival. We're right off the main road, so it might be a little loud, but super excited. Today is a big day for me because I'm doing two events today. I'm speaking at a climbing session this morning sponsored by the North Face and Petzl, where me and a few athletes are kind of gonna talk about some climbing stories and swap stories and share some experiences we've had in the mountains or in my case, in the jungle, talking about tree climbing. Once I arrived at the venue, I was pretty shocked at how big it was and how many people were there. 
I practiced going on stage before everybody arrived and met the presenters where we ran through where to sit and do a sound check. Then, after a few other athletes and filmmakers had gone on stage, I got a chance to chat about my tree climbing film. Hey everyone, thanks, uh, thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Totally, yeah. I mean, it all begins with a, a quick poll to the audience. How many of you all climbed a tree as a kid? Raise it, show, show of hands. Okay, a lot of hands in the audience. I climbed trees as well. Um, in middle school, I actually lived in Costa Rica in the cloud forest. And that was what we did. Me and my friends would climb trees and these amazing strangler fig trees that would kind of wrap around another tree and the tree inside the other tree would die and it would leave this like really unique, crazy shell of a tree called the strangler figs. You could climb on the outside, but you could also climb on the inside. So that was something we were doing as kids. I left, I moved back to the US, now settled in Boulder, Colorado. And a lot of my friends that I climbed with when I was a kid, climbed trees with, are now taking rock climbing techniques and applying them to these giant strangler fig trees, sometimes 100 feet tall in the cloud forest of Costa Rica. Okay, so we're walking through downtown Kendall on the way to the film screening. So many people out and about for the festival. Just so much fun. Yeah, there were like 500 people at the screening this morning or at the talk this morning. Pretty nerve wracking, but super fun to hear from athletes and different ambassadors for different companies and other filmmakers. So yeah, definitely loving the experience. Loving being in the UK. <laughs> Lots of good fish and chips and crisps. <laughs> this is what we do here. Climbers here, we climb the trees. The strangler figs, they're the most obvious, most inviting thing to climb. This is what we do here. Oh. Well, I'd like to invite Mr. Jeremy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Everything on the tree, like, it feels like it does on rock. There's like crimps, and there's jugs, and there's pockets, and there's cracks, and you're like doing rock climbing moves. But what was really interesting is once you got to the top, like, some of these trees are like over 100 feet tall. And trees are, you know, they sway in the wind and it was super windy. And so all these like epiphytes and all these beautiful plants are up there just like blasting by wind and, and mist. And you're up there and you're, you'll sway like 20 to 30 feet when you're up there climbing. So you're like pulling a hard move. And then that move, you kind of get like a little bit seasick after you do it because you're just adrenaline's pumping. It's a, uh, yeah, it was a really interesting experience for sure. But anyways, yeah, thank you so much for coming out and watching the film. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's my final day here in Kendall, and I'm actually not gonna attend my final screening. Just due to tickets, I was late to reserve them, and I had two other films that I gotta be a part of and speak at another event, so I'm feeling very satisfied in my involvement in the festival. I also wanna just take time to enjoy it, because I think the second lesson I wanna share here is that sometimes we can get pretty granular when it comes to making films, and we forget why we make films. I know the adventure film industry is pretty niche, and you may not think this has the power to change the world, to change the way we see the world, but what I love about what's happening in, in the outdoor adventure film industry now is that people are telling real stories. They're sharing stories of hope, and of joy, and of diversity, and equity, and inclusion, and all sorts of stories that matter. It can help change the way we see the world. We're not seeing athletes pushing the limits of skiing every single film. There are a lot of interesting stories that are happening in the ski industry. There are a lot of interesting stories happening in the biking industry. And I think something that I love about attending a festival like this is that you can sort of remind yourself why we create these films. And we create these films to help others change the way we see the world, to be more empathetic, to be inspired, to be passionate about something that they love. And I know outdoor adventure films may not be the solution to world peace, but there are over 10,000 people here. And I hope that my films and all the other films here are helping inspire them to be better, more empathetic, motivated, more passionate about the things that they love to do. And that leads me to the last lesson I've learned here. And that's learning from others is about the most valuable thing that you can do when it comes to being a filmmaker and one of the most valuable aspects of attending a film festival. Sometimes the adventure film industry can be pretty lonely. You're filming, you're directing, you're editing, you're doing everything yourself because maybe budgets are smaller than they would be on a big commercial set. But one of the best things about attending a film festival is you get to learn from others that are doing things the same way or maybe a little differently than you are. There are so many amazing filmmakers here and so many beautiful films being shown that 
I get to watch these things with a critical eye. I get to take things that they've done that inspire me to do things similar, whether it's editing techniques, interesting storytelling tactics, or just simply beautiful shots that I would love to recreate someday for myself. It's pretty exciting and motivating to be around other people that are pursuing the same thing you are. We all wanna be great storytellers. We all wanna share stories that matter and that leave a lasting emotion with our audience. So putting ego aside, opening up your heart and, and arms to others and trying to create a community of other filmmakers here has been one of my favorite parts of the festival and something I'll definitely remember for a long time. To conclude, I just wanna wrap up these thoughts and, and kind of put a nice little bow on the Kendall Mountain Film Festival experience. It was some of the biggest stages I'd ever spoken on. I got to present my films in front of a lot of people and connect with other filmmakers, and it was all very exciting. But I think these lessons that I walk away from this festival are just as important as the experiences. For me, I want to be the best storyteller I can be. Remembering why I create films and that I want to inspire a culture of positive, empathetic, thoughtful, and more motivated people to create positive change in their own lives through the stories that I share is why I do this. I think filmmaking is just a journey and it's a process. And being here and having three films in this festival was a huge honor. Never had three films in a festival before, which is why I made the trip all the way to the UK to, to experience it and present and meet people. Filmmakers share stories and we have a transformative power to change the way others see the world. So I guess I'm gonna try to continue to do that. Well, that is it for this video. If you wanna see the three films that I was screening here, the first one, Summit Within, is not available yet, but it will be up on this YouTube channel later down the line, hopefully in the spring. The second one, Canopy Climbers, is actually up and live on the YouTube channel already. The third one, Unseen Peaks, has got a few more film festivals to do, and then it will also be up on this YouTube channel with a little behind the scenes on how I filmed a blind skier and ice climber in Colorado. So, thanks so much for watching. I love you, I'm proud of you. Have the best day ever.